Hey party people, it's me, Kendall Cox. And I'm Emily Neff. Let's get into the news. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Welcome back to Raider TV, the only credible news source out there. We have a lot to go over with the upcoming graduation, warmer weather, and some exciting events at Avenue. Our second Flexible Learning Day is in the books. Make sure you turn in all of your Flexible Learning Day products that your teachers have assigned, or you will have an unexcused absence. This is the second and last Flexible Learning Day that we will have this year. Atley High School's graduation ceremony will take place at the Meadow Event Park. Due to COVID, the plans for graduation have had to change since last year. The ceremony will be held at the Meadow Event Park to accommodate more guests than would have been possible at our school's football stadium. Allie's graduation will be at 2.30 p.m. on Saturday, June 19th. We can't wait to honor the remarkable achievements of our class of 2021. Raiders, are you interested in watching Atlee Cedar Production Chicago High School Edition? Weather is getting warmer and warmer, and many students and teachers are taking advantage of the warm, sunny days by spending as many school hours as possible out there. Some classes have started to eat lunch outside instead of the commons, the gym, or auxiliary, auxiliary gym. Also, gym classes have started spending more time outside to exercise and play. Some classes have been doing their work outside while still maintaining social distance. Raiders, continue to monitor any signs of illness. If you show any of these symptoms on the screen, please tell a parent or report to the nurse. We are excited to share with you that the National Association of Music Merchants Foundation has named Hanover County Public Schools as a best community for music education for the ninth year in a row. We are only one of 20 school divisions in Virginia to achieve this coveted status. There are 132 school divisions in the Commonwealth. Have you guys ever wondered about the pre-game superstitions of your peers? Well, here is Taylor and Ryan to show you a few. Hello, and welcome to the Sports Scoop, where you get an inside look of the athletes here at Atley High School. Today, we're going to be focusing on athletes that have pre-game routines and superstitions that help them prepare for their games. Let's check it out. I wear the same socks at all my track meets. I only had one pair of compression socks, but as I got more, I still wore the same pair. And I got better times. Following a routine before a game has many positive impacts on an athlete's performance. It can help with anxiety, reduce distraction, and help the athlete get into a focused mindset before the game. Next, let's dive into sophomore Maggie Pace's lucky swim sweatshirt. To show team spirit, I always wear it, and then it sort of just kind of became something I wore to all the meets. I've worn it to every meet for good luck. So. Having a lucky item can help boost self-confidence. It can boost the athlete to set high goals for themselves and be persistent in their game. Thanks for watching today's episode of The Sports Scoop. See you next time on Raider TV. That's all the news we have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure to stay swag because you're watching Raider TV.